I could have lost my mind, wanted to give up so many times. But God was my anchor, a consistent way maker. Yes, I'm grateful God covered me. Good morning and welcome to your spiritual sports segment on Rima. <laughs> Gospel Radio, better than when you heard it the last time you heard it. I'm CJ. It's game time. The third round of March Madness for men's college basketball witnessed a 15 seed breaking through the ranks to advance to the Sweet 16 for the first time in tournament history as Florida Gulf Coast not only blasted, however, comma, they upset. 7C San Diego State 81 to 71 as Bernard Thompson poured in 23 points. Another Florida school also advanced as 2nd seed Miami knocked off 7 seed Illinois 63 to 59 with 21 off the bench points from Rion Brown. And yet another Florida school advanced as 3rd seed Florida Gatorized 11 seed Minnesota 78 to 64 as Mike Rosario lit up the scoreboard with 25 points. 13 seed LaSalle advanced by defeating 12 seed Ole Miss. 76 to 74 with 24 points from Ramon Galloway while number one seed Kansas clobbered North Carolina 70 to 58 as Travis Relaford notched 22 points another number one seed in Indiana survived against ninth seeded Temple 58 to 52 as Victor Oladipo stepped it up and scored 16 points second seed Ohio State escaped with a 78 to 75 win over 10th seed Iowa State with Aaron Kraft nailing a three pointer with five tenths of a second left and second seed Duke capsized 7C Creighton 66-50 with 21 points from Rasheed Solomon. For the guys who play for a living in the NBA, the Utah Jazz were defeated by the Dallas Mavericks 113-108 as Mike James scored 19 points. The Philadelphia 76ers crushed the Sacramento Kings 117-103 with 25 points from Isaiah Thomas. The Portland Trailblazers were toppled, trounced, and traumatized. <laughs> Alliteration, I love it, by the OKC Thunder, 103-83 to with the double-double of 24 and 10 from Kevin Durant. The Chicago Bulls breezed by the Minnesota Timberwolves, 104-97 to with 24 points and 10 assists from Nate Robinson. While the Houston Rockets had to use a late jumper with 4.5 seconds remaining from James Harden to get the 96-95 win over the San Antonio Spurs. The streak goes on to 26 wins as the Miami Heat demolished the Charlotte Bobcats, 109-77 to as LeBron James had 32 basket filling points and 10 dimes. The Atlanta Hawks outlasted the Milwaukee Bucks 104 to 99 with 24 points from Al Horford and the Brooklyn Nets squeezed by the Phoenix Suns 102 to 100 with 21 points from Brooke Lopez. With less than a mile to go in the final lap at NASCAR Sprint Cup Series at Fontana, Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano wasn't trying to let the other pass as they made contact and a serious wreck resulted with Hamlin being airlifted to the hospital and Logano and Tony Stewart getting into a tussle. Oh, the winner of the race you ask? Yeah, since that stole the headline, Kyle Busch actually took the checkered flag while Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished second, Logano managed to place third, while Carl Edwards came in fourth, and Kyle's brother Kurt placed fifth. For your quick news and notes, Elvis Dumerville has agreed to a multi-year contract with the Baltimore Ravens for five seasons and worth $35 million, including $8.5 million in the first year. The New York Yankees are close to completing a deal to acquire veteran outfitter Vernon Wells from the Los Angeles Angels. The Tampa Bay Lightning fired coach Guy Boucher on Sunday with the team in next to last place in the Eastern Conference. And finally, UCLA basketball coach Ben Howland has been relieved of his duties after 10 seasons at the helm of the Bruins. Do you need a new TV? What about an overnight stay at the Hilton or just some cold hard cash? If so, you make sure you purchase your tickets for only $68 as I host Women Word Broadcasting 6th Annual Ministry Gala for your share up to $5,000 in cash and prizes. Don't hesitate and go to RemoWordTV.info to purchase your tickets. Stay tuned for more updates on your next spiritual sports segment where we go with a little spirituality. <laughs> In your sports, I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because God did not bless you with the spirit of fear. So in 2013, live your dream.